By applause, how many people have been to an all-inclusive resort? Make some noise. That's nice, good, all right. So you know what I mean when I say all-inclusive, right? When we go to a third world country, take advantage of it and call it a holiday? Yeah! yeah. Cuba, three weeks, 800 bucks, I'm fucking there. Hi, Pedro, here's $20 your family can eat for three months. Now rub my fucking feet, come on, Pedro. Ding, 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 dinner time. Am I wrong? That one's funny and true. That's why it hurts you. By day four, it's always the same, isn't it? You've had too much sun, not enough water, too much alcohol, and we're Canadian when it's free. That fucks us up. Free, 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 fuck sombreros. Or my favorite, too much fruit. You know where this is going. <laughs> Papa Smurf knows. You always spend a day inside the room. You crank up the air conditioning, don't you? You know. You lie naked with your lover on top of the sheets. And you watch fucked up Spanish television for hours. <laughs> And it's a crazy game show, and every once in a while they just flash a cock for no reason. You know, did I just see a fucking cock? But nobody else sees the cock? I just saw another fucking cock! That's where I was, fucking, right? And I had a little guy funny moment, I had a little bit of gas. You know what I'm talking about. I wanted to do the gazoo, you know the gazoo, right? Where you kick up your leg and go, that thing, right? But midway through the kazoo, I started to shit the bed. And I don't mean shit. I mean chocolate milk shot out of my body. I thought it was fucking dying. Oh my God, my lungs just liquefied. I jump up, my wife yells at me, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I grab the sheets and I run to the bathroom and I start to scrub those sheets like fucking OJ in traffic with the glove. Come on, DNA. <laughs> After two minutes, you stop scrubbing, fuckies, and I'll tell you why. It's education time. Because no matter how much you scrub, those sheets will always be brown. Because nobody packs bleach for Cuba. Till now. Get the big bottle. And number two, more importantly, fucky, you try to find Pedro right away. Hi, Pedro. Here's $20 so your family can eat for three more months. Please don't tell anyone I shit the bed. Oh, gracias, senor. Me tell no one. You go shit the bed again. And then the next morning, everyone's fucking laughing at you. Would you like some runny eggs? <laughs> Fuck you, Pedro. Now, if you're in a long-term relationship, you're going to enjoy this one if you're a woman. Because fucked up shit happens when you date for a long time. So after I leave the bathroom, my wife is fully clothed. In two minutes, multiple layers of clothing. Normally, this would take an hour to happen. I think I'm going to shit the bed more often. Honey, we're late for the opera. And I walk out of the room. And what fucks me up even more, she's reading a book in the corner of the room like nothing fucking happened. I, I first I'm like, is she gonna throw something at me? Like even my own poo, that would be fair. Fucking asshole. But she doesn't. She just looks up at me and I'll never forget how she said it. She just looks at me and she goes, I just need some time alone right now. And I fucking laughed like I've never laughed before. 
she goes, God damn it, Darren, it's not always about the funny. I said, that's where you're wrong. It's always about the funny. You married me. You got a shitty deal. <laughs>